Look, I want to tell you a story about the success mechanism. And this is something that Maxwell Maltz talks about in his book Psycho Cybernetics. Look, every animal, every human, which is an animal of course, has a success mechanism. So in short, what is a, what is a success mechanism? It's basically like an instinct that us animals have that will get us to our goal. For example, a bird builds a nest, right? And even though the bird doesn't know how to build this nest, this bird has a specific goal, has a specific instinct that it uses to build this nest. It's just an instinct and nothing more, right? This bird didn't watch some YouTube tutorial on how to build a nest. This bird didn't fucking go to a premium course about how to build a nest, right? It just does because it has this goal of procreating. And now animals, of course, have different kind of goals than human. Are not different, but they are just simpler, right? In an animal or in a bird, there are basically two goals. It is surviving, so gathering food, getting water, these kind of things. Uh, even like fighting off animal, other animals or like running away from, I don't know, foxes, like hawks, whatever, right? And it has another goal, which is procreation. This is why he builds his nest. It's this instinct of those two things that will keep him alive, that will keep him striving towards a goal. This bird has no time to sit around and just think about life, right? Because it has these two goals that it constantly works towards. Now, as men, we have those goals as well, right? We have the goal of procreation, of course. It's, it's our sexual instinct, right? And we have the goal of surviving. But these two goals of men, they are quickly fulfilled. You can even fulfill the first one with your fucking hand. Which is of course not ideal and it's not what I preach, but you get the point, right? The second goal surviving, that's not even the fucking case, at least in our country. And probably where you live as well. If you have time to watch this video, you're not thinking about surviving and gathering food, otherwise you're fucking gonna die. Of course not, right? And so these goals are quickly met. But as humans, we have different kind of goals aside from these procreation and survival goals. We need to fulfill certain needs that animals don't have, which is emotional and spiritual needs, right? And so what it says in here is that apart from the sexual instinct and the surviving mechanism, for a man to have a goal, it's more than that especially in this day and age. We as humans, we have evolved to have much more specific goals, much more complicated goals than animals, of course, because we have the time to think about different goals. And this is something that animals don't have, right? And this is something that really differentiates us humans from the animals. It's that we have the ability to imagine our own goals. So, Realize that, right? An animal doesn't have the ability to imagine that it suddenly wants to become a rapper, right? <laughs> of course not. But we as humans, we can have this ability. We can set a goal for ourselves. And the amazing thing is that this success instinct, the success mechanism, applies also to that goal, apart from procreation and survival, right? It applies to that goal as much as the other two goals. So that means if you want to reach a goal, no matter if it's procreation, survival, or if it's being a fucking rapper or being a fucking journalist, your success mechanism, your success instinct that is in all animals and even in all life, even if you look at plants, they just automatically grow because they are surviving. That's a surviving mechanism. But these goals, they will automatically be reached if you have it specifically enough, right? You can't just think, oh, I'm going to be rich one day because then your success mechanism doesn't really have a clear goal to work towards. Your success mechanism needs to have a clear goal in order for that instinct to really turn on. And it, and it is proven, right? Of course, 
Humans worry about more than survival and procreation. It's the reason why you see so many people these days, they are depressed. They don't know what to do with their lives. Like for example, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, I was fucking depressed, man. I was in a state of anger and frustration because I didn't know what to fucking do with my life. I was looking for a goal to work towards. Because of course, my basic two goals, the standards are easily met. Again, you can even do it with your hand. And survival, bro, that's not even the case right now, bro. You can just go to the supermarket and buy a fucking loaf of bread. It's that really simple. So when you have these two goals that are already made to accomplish, that are already easily accomplished, your mind will start to think about other goals. But if it doesn't have any other goals, you will get depressive as fuck because you have nothing to work towards. These goals, these basic goals, survival goals, procreation goals, they're already met. So that's what it teaches in the, in the book Psycho-Cybernetics. That we, as human, we have the imagination. We have the ability to imagine our goals. And if we imagine it specifically enough, then we will achieve those goals. Now, why is that? Of course, because of the success mechanism. But there's another thing. Everything that we imagine becomes reality. And now what do I mean by that? Let's take a simple example, right? I was always, back in the days, I was always cycling home in the dark. Sometimes I, I saw a tree, and you maybe recognize this feeling as well, when it's completely dark outside. And you see somewhere a shade of a tree. But you're not realizing it is a tree. You're thinking that it is a human. And so suddenly your heart starts beating like, what is this guy doing in the middle of the night? He's standing there, is he waiting for me? Is he trying to attack me? And this happened especially when it was high because it was paranoid as fuck. But it's just a tree, right? But you imagine yourself that it is a real human being, that it is a real person. And so what you imagine becomes reality. You become this human that is that suddenly has some anxiety, some form of anxiety, some form of nerves that, that will come up like it is a real human being, but you just don't know, it's just a tree. But it comes from you imagining that it is a real human being. Another example. I was, the other day, I was hearing mouses all the time above here, like on the roof and shit. I'm hearing them all the time. But one time I heard a sound in my room as well and I really immediately thought there was a mouse in there. And I don't particularly like mouses, right? I'll be honest about that. I fucking hate them, bro. I'm afraid of them as fuck, man. I always think they're gonna bite me or something. They're gonna crawl into my bed. These things, right? And when I heard this sound in my noise, in my, in my room, and I heard this noise in my room, I suddenly thought that there was a mouse. I imagined myself that there was a mouse in my room. And immediately, this fear, this anxiety started coming up, right? I was fucking sweating. This was because my imagination became reality. In my mind, it was reality that the mouse was in my room, but really there wasn't any mouse in my room, but my, but my mind, my imagine, imagination shaped the reality. And that's where the thing comes in. That's where the imagination comes in. When you start visualizing, when you start imagining yourself achieving failure all the time, you will act like you are a failure. You will act with anxiety. You will act with nerves. You will act insecure because your imagination becomes reality. You think you are not worthy and so your mind will perceive yourself as not worthy. If you imagine yourself to be anything, your mind will start to see that as a reality. So of course, you can think of failure, but you can also think of success. And that's where we're going to visualize every day for 15 minutes, how you are gonna reach a specific goal, like the bird building a nest, or like you getting to that point of becoming a journalist, for example, and interviewing certain people. You might gotta make it as specific as possible in order for that visualization to become real, right? If you, have, if you see a man behind a tree, you think you see a man behind a tree. 
you can't just think, oh, there's just some some vague character that's maybe outside the team. You really, get, you're really like, even if it's not on purpose, you're gonna visualize that man behind the tree, and you're gonna see him with a knife, and you're gonna visualize yourself, you're gonna visualize him attacking you. Yet, like these things are gonna be really specific unconsciously. So you gotta make that success really specific as well in order to become more real, in order to for your mind to see it as something real, right? So what you're gonna do, if you wanna be a journalist, for example, you're gonna visualize yourself every day doing something successful in that journalism. For example, you're gonna visualize yourself every day that you're interviewing the president of America. An example, right? And during this interview, you're really gonna imagine every single question that you're gonna ask and every answer and how it is how it's responded on your questions. You're gonna feel the the breath, you're gonna smell the breath, maybe even, of the president. You're gonna notice every little detail there is. You're gonna maybe smell something, you're gonna maybe hear something from afar, some kids playing outside. You're gonna imagine every single detail. And now, of course, the first time you will visualize your success in journaling, in whatever your goal is, whatever your 30 day goal is, whatever you wanna achieve, of course, First, it's not gonna be that specific, right? And that's what you have to know. You will have to train this ability. But as you train it more and more, as you train it every day, this imagination will start to become more and more vivid. And when it will start to become more and more vivid, your mind will perceive this imagination more and more as something real. And remember, you're always gonna imagine yourself doing something successful, right? So in that way, your mind or start to see this reality of you being successful. And so the clearer your mind has that goal of you seeing some of you doing something successful, the clearer your mind has that goal, your success mechanism, your success instinct, your animal instinct will work towards that goal because it has it so specific that it will start to become reality. I hope this makes sense. Now you're gonna watch this video for as many times as possible. It's all right if you skip a day, but this video, you need to know every little thing about this video because when you start to understand that you are, your mind is not created for failure, your mind is in fact a machine that can work its way towards success if you provide it the adequate time, energy, and imagination it needs. If you really realize that, if you really realize that every human is made with a success mechanism, you will start to see that you can literally do anything. And this is what people always say, right? But it's actually true. You can do anything, anything in life, whether that's fucking freeing a country that is enslaved by their fucking politics, whether that's solving world hunger, and these things sound all weird, right? But imagine those guys that actually did change the world. Imagine those guys like Nelson Mandela. Imagine those guys like Martin Luther King. Imagine those guys. They actually did change the fucking world. And these guys, they were not different from you and me. They had the same type of mind. They had the same body. Maybe they were even fattier. Maybe they were even eating unhealthy food, but they have the same type of mind, but they just imagine something different than you. If you believe in something, if you genuinely believe in something, and you have a specific goal, you can achieve it. Imagination rules the world, said Napoleon Bonaparte. And I want to end with this.